first trip on the Shinkansen, the Japanese bullet train. What's so it? So smooth. Boy, that thing is fast. Great way to see the scenery too. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Arigato. That puppy wastes no time getting up to speed. Welcome to Kyoto. It's, it's warm and it's not raining yet. Yay! Made it to our hotel. Kind of cool. This will work, huh? Very pretty. Star Trek wood panel doors. <laughs> It ain't big, but it's nice. This hotel is already scoring points. Three different types of coffee included. You put them in the little hand grinder. And then you have a choice of either French press or pour over. They also have like 10 types of tea and books. Get our first cup of coffee down. Time to go out and explore. It's not morning, by the way. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so we got our Pasmo cards in Tokyo. Even down here in Kyoto, they're working on the subway and the trains down here. We are at Nishiki Market. Sushi-themed jewelry, very nice. It's catfish? Yes, and uh, cheese inside. Oh, can we get one with cheese, please? So many of the stands here have samples. Oh, it's like a pickled <laughs> radish. It's like a little omelette. Really good. Okay, I don't eat octopus anymore, but Kate's gonna try the candy baby octopus with a quail egg stuffed inside of it. Squid, on the other hand, out for days because they're evil. So do you feel guilty that that beautiful little octopus had to sacrifice so you could try some street food? Yes, because it's not that good and I'm really sad about that. Healthy ice cream, black sesame. Creamy. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. I, I need my ice cream to be sweet. This is not sweet. This is more like eating sesame seeds. Well that is the end of the Nishiki market. What do you think? That was really cool. Lots of good food in there to try. Really touristy, but still worth going to. There's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Sweet. Out. Japanese Wendy's. This is the famous Kamo River behind us. It's a creek. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go rafting on it because you couldn't. We're heading over to Guyan or Gion, the uh, wow. famous geisha district here in Kyoto. So hopefully we will see some real live geisha out on the road scampering about their duties. We'll see. These little streets and alleyways are just awesome. Just packed with little places to eat. You don't always believe everything that Google Maps tells you because that last thing was not the Kama River. That is the river. Much more fitting. Three, two, one. We're in Guyan. A lot of people rent uh, kimonos and walk around in traditional dress. I don't think we will, but it looks cool. This beautiful building behind us is the Yasaka Shrine. We haven't seen any geisha yet, but that's okay. They're out doing geisha business, probably at Starbucks. <laughs> Wandering off to our next 
district to explore, and I don't remember the name of it, but I'll say it when we get there. It starts with an S. Or a K, or maybe both. I know it starts with an S. So the Yasaka Shrine we just left was free. Uh, no. <laughs> Fine. Would be fun though. It's just amazing here. Some of our best adventures are just wandering around. All right, we got the name. It's Sanaizaka. Pronounced terribly, but it's Sanaizaka. Cool place. Right now we're walking up Kiyomizuzaka. If this moon comes out, holy cow, it is gorgeous. Up out of the way is the first horn I've heard honked since we've been in Kyoto. The ever famous Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Sexy coffee travel blog. Sexy coffee travel blog. If you like our video, click the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good.